as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you well I'm copying a, a guy off the internet putting on my solar system just got it today solar panels and all complete kit I'm copying a guy named loves your RV he seems to be very uh, knowledgeable on this stuff so I'm copying him first thing I'm doing is putting the Z brackets on or they say in Canada Z isn't that right Ray okay I'm gonna do that then we're gonna hopefully use my friend's heister to lift him up so I don't have to crawl up the ladder one in a hand, each hand anyway more later the screws they send you with uh, solar system uh, they worked in some spots but in a lot of spots they didn't so I got the bigger ones same size head but they got a lot more aggressive bite when you're only got a 3 8 inch thick piece of wood going through it seemed like that uh, drill point here drilled the hole just a little bit too big and these are more pointed so it would spread it out better I would suggest using these okay I've got the Z brackets attached they're a 10 millimeter socket to do that pretty small but they're all attached now here's the next step you can put this up on top there and uh, in case it gets hot and you don't want the electricity going yet anyway so I covered it in uh, this cardboard that came in the packaging so now then I'll set that aside that one's ready to go up top I just taped it on I'll be able to take the top tape off once it's uh, installed and it won't be uh, getting too hot to touch or putting out any electricity so I'm going to do that three more times solar panels are installed did that about five days ago then we brought it up here to the woods to check it out we got shade in the morning on them but that's okay it's only 10 o'clock and they're completely in sun now and they'll be in sun all the way till that goes sun goes down right about over there on top of that mountain so so far they're working great I'm gonna do a little more work here and there I got a broken broke one of my caps right there you don't want to lean on that plastic stuff when you're working on it anyway so far so good it's working putting on all the uh, proper amounts of electricity keeping the batteries charged so I ran my uh, wires down in between the wall for my sliding door plenty of room in there and it went straight down through there straight down into the basement then straight over to the batteries um, had about three foot short of one wire so uh, I added on a red wire which I like better anyway red and black makes more sense to me here's the rest of it well there's the controller by Renogy you can see the black and red wire running in to the controller which runs down to the batteries through that little breaker there that wasn't the one I ordered but it's the same size so it works and down into my battery bank which also serves as my charging system for my tools I'm missing my saw saw goes there I have a uh, impact wrench there and a charger for the impact wrench will go there so that'll be about everything I'd need on the road this is my battery bank this is what I use to hold my battery bank pick this up at Kmart for eight bucks I dropped a couple of little pieces of wood here and there for shims batteries fit snugly and I use 12 volt rather than 6 volt 
And uh, the reasoning for that is, if I'm out in the woods and uh, my batteries go dead on my pickup, it takes two of these to start my truck. So I could pull two of these out and still have enough amperage here to at least fold up the unit and get out of the woods. Now there's my little inverter. This is a better shot than earlier. And that other yellow wire there, one yellow wire, that one is plugged in already. It goes back to my office part in the, in the rig. And then this other yellow one, my wife told me that she wanted power for her hair dryer. So that goes up to the bathroom vanity. It's just an extension cord, heavy duty. I'll tell you, it, it isn't a light duty. So this yellow one, both yellow ones, are uh, running inverted power and uh, the that one isn't hooked up yet I've got my uh, controller all hooked up as you can see I've got uh, wires running from the charger to the battery from uh, the controller to my load that's these running the little LED and this one here hooks up to the computer this one here is a temperature for the batteries, which is hooked up down here somewhere. I forgot where. Right there. That's it, hooked up over here. Now, yeah, you're going to say, them wires are light. Yes, they are light. And I'm going to replace them all once I've got everything put together once. These were hanging on my wall. I used them to get everything going. As soon as I get my big inverter, 1,000, it'll go there. 1,000 watt will fit there nicely. And then I'm going to change all the wires over and everything. But right now, this is the way she sits until I get more money. Maybe cheaper, but it's working. Wired up all the way underneath the RV because I had a heck of a time with slide outs figuring out how to get that to the other side of the RV so I went underneath it with piping and then just run the wire through that so it'll be okay and it goes inside the living room there and I can charge up uh, the phones probably run a TV haven't tried it because no stations And uh, also uh, run to charge the computers. But it has a little breaker right there. You can see that too. That goes up into the deal. So, anyway, that's what we got so far. Thanks again. Loves your RV. We copied everything we could from you. So... All except for that part. There's something you... I don't think you got that. That looks like an extension cord with a 110 plug-in in between it. Well, yep, that's what it is. I had no plug-in in here, so I took that extension cord, run it up through the rafters, and over to a plug-in in the other side of the basement here. And uh, I use it when I'm hooked up to shore power to charge up my batteries for the tools. That's why there's two of them there, and then there's an extra one in case I needed to hook something up. But uh, when I'm not hooked up to shore power, I can just unplug them and plug them into the inverter and charge them up. But that'll be something I don't need all the time anyway. But that came in handy already. Oh, and what is this here for? That's just a piece of uh, foam. Because every time I leaned in there, I banged my head on that or on that or something. So that kept me from banging my head at least.
What you're looking at here is a 30 amp fuse that comes from my solar panel. Like I said, the black wire was too short, so I ran a red wire from the other end of it. Goes in and feeds my uh, control panel. The brown wire is uh, attached to an LED light that goes into the coach itself uh, because when I'm dry camping there's no uh, light in there and I, it gets dark when you're in the woods so that pulls just, I mean, not enough to probably notice a pull but uh, it's hooked up to my load on my controller so when the controller starts stops losing sunlight and charging it will switch that little LED light on I will know inside it is not putting out a charge and I'll also be able to see where I'm going just a little LED strip is all this is what it looks like before the grate uh, this is the LED strip should be coming on only at night once I get everything programmed Then we got the other wire here. This one here runs over to my computer so I can program it in that side of my compartment, which I call the man cave. I'll show you that now. Well, this is not my man cave. I decided to run the USB cable up to here to my office area in the front of the coach. And now I can uh, monitor everything from my desk instead of inside the other uh, storage compartment. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm monitoring. I can change all kinds of uh, settings here. I can set my load. Uh, right now I have it, as you can see by this photo right here, I have my LED strip hooked up to my load right here. It's not turned on now. It's set so that when the charging system quits charging due to lack of sun, the LED strip will come on and then it will go off when it starts charging again in the morning. Serves two purposes, as I've stated before. Everything seems to be working okay. I gave it a test up in the woods and I've just tested everything down here where I store it. Hope this video helped you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.